If you want to rewrite your reality and manifest your healing power, then you need to learn how to change your identity. Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself, and if you're excited about this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. And let's jump right into it. Your identity is everything. It shapes all your unconscious and subconscious beliefs. It shapes who you are, it shapes how you act, it shapes how you feel, it shapes everything about you. And if you want to learn how to truly harness the power of manifesting what it is that you want, if you want to take yourself from sick and suffering with chronic illness, chronic pain, chronic symptoms, chronic conditions, and manifest your healing power to heal yourself, to be healed, to manifest health, which is what you want more than anything in the world, then you must understand identity shifting. We spend a lot of time on manifestation and the power of desiring something, of knowing what it is that you want. That is the first step to manifestation, desiring it, knowing what you want, knowing you wanna be healed. We visualize it, we call it into our being by holding that intention, by holding that visual deep within our conscious mind, our subconscious mind, our heart, our soul, our being, until that desire becomes our reality. This is a very powerful law. And coupled with the law of vibration, meaning we hold the vibratory state of that feeling. Every feeling has a vibration. The feeling of illness has a negative, heavy vibration. The feeling of health and vibrancy has a high, joyful, loving vibration. And when we can hold the state of what it is that we want through the law of vibration, we are more able to become a match to what it is that we want, a match to health. When we hold the feeling, the vibratory state of health for long enough, we become a match for what it is that we want. But that doesn't even go far enough in my opinion. Couple this with the law of assumption, which is a deep belief, a deep knowing that it is already yours, that it is already done, that what you want already belongs to you. You live in the assumption of your wish fulfilled. And this is why I think Neville Goddard is so brilliant because it's not enough to want it, visualize it, manifest it. It's not even enough to hold the vibratory state of what it is that we want, but we must assume and know it to be true, know it to be ours. We must become what it is that we want. We must carry ourselves with the full confidence and knowing that we are already healthy, we are already healed. We are living in the end state. And so it is with identity shifting. You can change your thoughts, you can change your feelings, your mood, you can change what it is you're visualizing and what it is you choose to think about. You can choose whether you're happy or sad or grateful or resentful. You can make these choices that affect you, that affect how you carry yourself, how you feel inside. They can affect your state and how you're showing up in the world, but they can never affect who you are at a fundamental level, who you believe yourself to be. And that is why who you believe yourself to be is everything. The identity that you hold in your mind of who you believe yourself to be takes manifestation, takes visualization, takes every technique that you've ever learned, takes every physical thing that you do and apply to your health, takes every protocol, every food, every supplement, every mind-body healing technique, every brain retraining technique, every manifestation technique. It takes it to another level because you can now see it in a completely different way. So let me give you an example. You are reading a book. Maybe it's a book like Harry Potter. My son is totally in love with the book Harry Potter and the entire series. He's read it over and over and over. And now my daughter is getting into it and she is reading the first book. So let's assume that we open up the first book of Harry Potter and we begin to read and we begin to get into it and we begin to identify with the main character, Harry. This is the character. This is the story. We're reading it. This is the world of the story that we're now immersed in. 
were fully immersed in this world. Now, if you were the main character in your own book, you open up the book of you, you are the main character on that page. You are fully immersed in this entire world of your story. The people, the relationships, what you do for work, your character traits, plot, everything. It's all in there. This is your book now. We're opening up the book of you. You are playing the part, the identity of that character in that book. And everything inside that book is your identity. It holds your thoughts, your beliefs, your values, your personality, and everything that you are. Everything that you know yourself to be. This character in your book is going on a journey of healing. He's trying to go from somebody who is not healed to somebody who is healed. And they are doing everything within this book. We watch them and we witness them as they try all these different things from mainstream medicine to diet to alternative therapies to ancient therapies to mind-body techniques. We're watching this character go along on their journey. All of the relationships they've had, all of the traumas, all of the past problems that have led them to this point. It's all in this book. Now, if we want to go to a new chapter, if we want to open up our mind to a new chapter in that book, we have to let go of the old. We have to let go of the past. We cannot focus on the past and go into the new. So if you want to write a new chapter, if you want to write a new chapter in your book, you've got to let go of the old, meaning you can't focus and hold on to what is old because we're writing a new chapter. Similarly, when we're done that book and we're going to the second book in the series, right up first, my son read the first Harry Potter book over and over and over and over. He didn't want to go on to the second book. He loved the first book so much. It wasn't until he allowed himself to let go of book number one so that he could open his mind and heart to book two. So if you want a new experience, if you want a new story, you have to let go of the old one. So this is how identity shifting works. You are trying to write a new, yourself a new chapter, but you haven't let go of the old. You're trying to move on to even a new book, a completely new book, but you haven't set aside book one. Let go of that old and allow a new story to come in. New characters, new problems, new plots. You need to let go of what was so you can allow something new. This is how we identity shift. This is what we need to do with the character that we play in our own life. We need to shift that identity, let go of the old, so that the new can come. New characters, new relationships, new protocols that we try, new diets, new things that we do, new ways that we can move forward on our healing journey. That is identity shifting. And it is one of the most powerful things that you can do but I am going to give you the ultimate secret now. I am going to take you one step further. You need to change your identity, not just shift it, but change it. So not just start a new chapter, not just start a new book in the series, but start a completely new book. The old character, Harry Potter, or you, the story of healing, is now gone. We're not even going to jump into a new book in the same series. We're going to start a totally new book, a totally new genre. Maybe we are now going to jump into the world of romance and read a Nicholas Sparks novel. We're not even in the same genre anymore. We are jumping characters. We're jumping genres. We've completely left Harry Potter. We've completely left science fiction behind, and we're going to something completely new, a brand new character in a brand new genre. That is changing your identity at a fundamental level. So I am suggesting that you don't even change just parts of you or the way you see things or some of your thoughts, some of your feelings, your emotional states, your emotional patterns. These are all amazing things to change and I talk about them all the time on my channel because when we change all these things, we make progress to changing our whole self. But if we just quantum jump, quantum leap 
into a new person with new personality traits, new beliefs, a completely different genre, a completely different perspective with no limiting beliefs anymore. We're not holding on to anything from our past at all anymore. If we could do this, we could heal instantly. There are many stories of instantaneous healings, spontaneous remissions, miracles. These come when people change their identity completely. They go from somebody who believes that they are sick to somebody who knows that they are healed. The contrast is massive. And this is what it takes to heal instantly. Many of us cannot hold a belief for long enough. We cannot even change our patterns. We can't change even one or two personality traits or hold a new vibrational state for long enough. If we could do all of it at once, if we could become somebody completely and entirely and utterly new, we could heal so fast but we are so afraid of change. We are so afraid of the rate and the speed of change because if we are letting go of everything that we know, we begin to feel vulnerable, fearful, and sometimes holding on to something in the past that's not good for us, but we know it, we understand it, we feel comfortable with it, is safer for us than actually going completely into the unknown. But if we could completely let ourselves become anew, we would heal fast. Our manifestations would take place fast. And it is only out of fear of the rate of change, fear of losing something, fear of losing all the people in our life, fear of losing what we know, fear of losing that sense of safety, fear of losing the parts of ourselves that we do like and the personality traits and the values and the beliefs that we do hold dear to us. Just to be a blank slate, to become completely new, to become the ultimate healed version of ourself right now, that is how you truly quantum leap, quantum jump, bypass manifestation and law, vibrational law of assumption and all of it because you have quantum leaped it and you are now just living in the new reality. Your circumstances don't change just because you've decided to become a completely new person. Nothing else in your life is going to change. Everything else is dense. Everything else is going to remain the same. And that is why you changing, you holding completely new beliefs, new personality traits, new vibration, new assumptions about yourself, a completely new identity is going to be very difficult because your outer circumstances, the people in your life, everything, all the problems that you have are still going to be there. So you need to make the leap. You need to make the leap before any of your circumstances change. And you need to hold this new identity even when they don't change quickly, even when they take a long time to change, even when it feels like they can't change. You just hold your new identity who you are. Somebody who is healed and fully healed and healthy doesn't worry when they have a massive migraine or a headache. They don't think, oh no, I'm going to have a setback. I'm going to be chronically ill forever. I feel terrible. They don't assume the identity of a sick person, of a chronically ill person. They are still able to hold the identity of a healthy, vibrant, healed person, even in the face of a terrible migraine, even in the face of a terrible illness that they get. Their identity is still that they're healed. So they are a healed person experiencing a headache. Whereas somebody who is experiencing chronic illness feels sick and chronically ill and broken, and they could be experiencing a good day they could be experiencing a lift, a good day, whatever you want to call it. But they're a sick person experiencing a good day as opposed to a healed and healthy person experiencing a bad day. These are two different identities. So you can be a sick person experiencing pain and suffering and illness or a good day or a little bit of relief or whatever. Or you could be a healed person experiencing a really bad cold, 
You could be a healed person and a healthy person experiencing a migraine or a lot of fatigue, but your identity is what you're holding. So you can't be living in the identity of a sick person who's holding the vibrational state of someone who's healed or a sick person who's choosing to start to exercise or who's choosing to eat a certain diet or a sick person who's going to push themselves out of their comfort zone or a sick person who's trying to manifest health or a sick person who's trying to hold the vibrational state of a healed person. You need to assume the identity of a healthy, healed person, a healthy, vibrant person who is maybe experiencing circumstances that you don't want, who's also manifesting and holding the vibration of health and socializing and loving their family and being grateful and being abundant and who's experiencing problems or relationships of this healed person is holding the state of joy or the healed person is holding the state of love. You need to elevate your identity. You need to become a new identity. You need to assume a new identity. You need to choose a new identity because you can manifest your way into it by thinking it, by desiring it, by believing that you can have it, by holding the intention in your heart. You can visualize it and assume the feeling and try to get into the state of the feeling. But if you're doing it from the identity of a sick person, of somebody with the identity of chronic illness, it's like you're trying to hold on to all these different methods and techniques that will never work or can never work unless you hold the states for long enough and hard enough. And that's what people do. They hold them for long enough. They do it for long enough. They use these techniques over and over and over until their state actually starts to feel it until they actually almost become it. They're actually using the manifestation and the law of vibration and everything that they're doing to step themselves in to changing their identity completely, to going from here to going from here. And I'm suggesting that if you really understand the law, if you really understand the law of assumption, if you really understand what it's like to change your subconscious mind, your deep unconscious beliefs, the belief of the about the identity that you hold about yourself to be true. If you can change that, you can catapult your healing. You can manifest instantly because you don't have to work so hard at holding all of these other things. You already believe and assume yourself to be healed. And if you can believe it in your heart, if you can know it in your soul, then nothing can knock you off of your course. It has to come to you because your intention of who it is that you believe yourself to be is unwavering. And when that happens, when you believe something fully and completely, it must come to you. And so if you want to rewrite your reality, if you want to create a new reality, you must change, not just shift, but change your identity fully, completely. Become who it is that you want to be. Choose it. Decide. You can shift into it slowly or you can quantum jump and quantum leap into it. But when you change your identity, everything changes. When you change your reality, you change yourself. New reality, new you. And the great thing is, this just doesn't work for healing. It works for everything. If you want to be wealthy, abundant, whatever lifestyle you want to live, however you want to carry yourself, whatever kind of confidence and job you want to have, anything. But I know healing is the most important thing to you if you are on this channel. But this works for everything. You can change everything about yourself that you don't like by knowing what it is that you want knowing who it is that you do want to be, choosing and deciding to be that person now, making the decision now, shifting your identity now. It all has to happen in the now. It's not something that can happen tomorrow or you're just an unhealed person hoping to be healed tomorrow. You have to shift. You have to shift your entire being. 
Who do you want to be? Whether your circumstances change or not, you have to become, you have to assume, you have to know, you have to change your entire identity. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Check out part one of my new Become Your Own Healer program. And I will link details to that below. And I will see you in the next video.